Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm talking about these inexpensive toolkits for guitar luthier stuff that you can get on Amazon pretty cheap. Check it out. Well, about two years ago, I believe, I made a video called the top 10 tools you need to work on guitar, something on those lines. I'll put a link up in the, uh, the card up above. But basically, I, I made like, I was going through wanting to really get into working on guitars and maybe even building guitars. There's so much misinformation about out there on what things you need and people would say you really need this and you really need that. Anyway, that's why I made that video is because it was like, hey, these are the things you actually do need to work on guitars. Anyway, while I was making that, I was buying stuff on Amazon, I was buying stuff on eBay mostly, and you know, there was just a lot of different products out there. And what was interesting is there wasn't really anybody putting together decent kits of stuff where they'd say like, I'm gonna take, you know, these a lot of these things that are like four or five dollars, I'm gonna package them together into one kit. And so, you know, if I was gonna buy a fret rocker, it was like five or six bucks to go buy a fret rocker. If I was gonna buy uh, radius gate fretboard radius gauges those were like five to ten twelve I think I paid twelve dollars for the ones I got and you, you know so what's happening now is there's a company contacted me recently and asked if I would do a review of their kits that they've got which is what I have here and that company on Amazon you can find them it's Vikerer V-I-K-E-R-E-R -E -E is the is their what they're selling under They've got two different kits. One of them is their polishing kit, and the other one is their measuring kit. And they sent them both to me to see if I'd take a look at it. And I'm gonna give my honest feedback uh, about this kit to see if it's worth buying or if you should just buy stuff individually. So um, looking at the first kit, the first kit I'm gonna talk about is the, the measuring kit. And this is probably the one I would say buy if you don't have any tools, go ahead and buy this one because these, the, these are the things you actually have to have to have in order to do a basic setup. And um, I've got them all mixed up here, but I'll tell you what comes in the measuring kit. Measuring kit comes with these uh, radius gauges. These tell how, uh, what your radius of your guitar fretboard is. Comes with this string action ruler, which I love. I have one just like it and I use it all the time for setups. It has this, uh, this like string winder with the cutter for your wires up top. And it has these feeler gauges, which are awesome. Uh, you, you can pick up feeler gauges anywhere, but it's just nice that this is all packaged together. I say anywhere, you can go to like AutoZone and get feeler gauges. And then it has these uh, polishing, actually I should switch these around. Both kits came with these polishing uh, guards. Put these over your frets, and then you can work on your frets without uh, causing any damage. Uh, I like to put these, if I am put, put this over my fret and then use steel wool to go back and forth. And then it comes with one of these grinding stones that you can kind of use for um, for that uh, working on your your frets. I don't really actually use a grinding stone, um, but some people do. Um, and then, so that's the, the first kit. It's got those things in it. Um, $15.99, right now I'll just look on Amazon and there's like a dollar coupon, so I guess $14.99. I'm not sure how long that's gonna last, but um, let me show you what's in the other kit and then I'll kind of give my overview of it. The second kit was a little bit more interesting. I guess this would be kind of like your, your next level of kit, and they're calling this one their polishing kit. I'm not really sure why they necessarily call it their polishing kit, but it comes with this fret rocker, which is great to see if you are if your frets are level. Um, and I, I actually just tested this up against my uh, fret guru um, uh, fret leveler, and this thing is... Uh, it is in fact straight. It, it is a, a very very straight um, fret rocker, so you, I'm confident in that. I'd be confident using that. You know, sometimes when something is milled, it might be you know not quite straight. It's got to be straight, and this one is straight. And it has the again these these polishing guards here, and then it has two of these grinding stones. Again, I don't use these grinding stones, but some people may. Um, and then. It has a hammer for for frets. Now I have not ever done a, a refret job, and if I did, I don't think I would use a hammer to put the frets in. I'd probably use some sort of press. But what this would be good uh, for is if you do have a guitar 
that has a fret that's coming unseated. It's it's come it's popping off. Maybe you live in a, a climate that gets humid and then dry and then humid and dry. Um, you know your frets could possibly pop out literally. And you know you can use anything to hammer it in, but you're going to dent your fret. And this has a nice rubber. Um, it's like a rubber mallet, hard rubber mallet. That you could just kind of tap your your frets in. So that's that's nice to have. Um, it's interesting that I think that I probably could have thought of some other things to put in a kit rather than this but um, anyway it's there and then the one that I found the most interesting was this right here and this is a uh, fret uh, crown file and the reason why I found this to be the most interesting is because had this kit been around two years ago I 100% would have bought this kit probably because of this fret crowning file um, I ended up at the time building, buying this Hosa, Hosco, sorry, this Hosco kit, uh, fret rounding, fret crowning file, and I'll just kind of show them to you. It's this, this one, this Hosco one is awesome. Um, it, it, it's just a great, great tool. Um, and then here's the, the one that comes in the kit. Now, I'm gonna, this one is perfectly flat. I'm going to put this next to each other. You can see that this actually comes up a little bit. This this file is bent. If I put it on this side, you can see you can actually see you know space in between there. I'm not sure how well that's coming across, but these are not. Uh, this isn't exactly straight. <coughs> so um, what that's going to mean is two things: is I would have to take this, put this into a vise, um, or somehow try to straighten this thing out. And, uh, but that being said, I think that if this was straight, I would have no problem using this on a, on a guitar. And the thing about tools when you're getting into guitar stuff is guitar tools are one of those things that you're going to either spend, you can spend as much, it's like, it's kind of like how much does a guitar cost? A guitar costs a hundred dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, probably more than that in some guitars these days. But, you know, that's kind of how guitar tools are as well. You can spend a little bit of money and get the job done, or you can spend a lot of money and get the job done, and it's a lot easier. So I would put this guy, this fret uh, crowning file, into the, it gets the job done a lot easier. I think this is probably, when you factor in the cost of this whole kit, this is probably about 10 times the cost as this. But you could get the job done with this uh, fret crowning file. So... That leaves me to kind of the conclusion of, you know, are these probably the highest end tools that you could buy for guitars? No, they're not. Um, however, if I wanted to individually go buy the highest end tools of everything that's here, I could spend easily with just these tools right here, I could spend $100 buying these tools. And right now, if you bought both of these kits, one for $15.99 with a dollar coupon and one for $14.99 with a dollar coupon, you're basically spending 40 bucks. I mean, 30 bucks, sorry, $30. So, you know, if you look at it that way of, eh, this is a third or 30% of the cost, perhaps, maybe even more of what it would cost to, to buy these things at like the high end, um, I think this is a good deal. Like I said, these, these string radius gauges, I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I remember looking for these on Amazon and eBay and thinking, why can't I find some cheap ones of these. I think I spent, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, I spent like $10 or $12 on a set of radius gauges, and they're the same things. It's the same same piece of, of stuff. Uh, the string reaction ruler, um, these are you know $5 to $7. Um, the fret rocker, I think I bought like a name brand fret rocker. It's the exact same thing, and I think that that was like five or six bucks. Um, these, uh, these feeler gauges, you know, they're five, six, seven, eight bucks. Um, even just going to Home Depot and buying a hammer like this, you're going to spend 10 bucks on. So, you know, all, all these things together, this is definitely a great value. Um, I'm not being paid for this. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm honest with my reviews. And so, you know, like I said, this, this thing is bent, which I didn't like, but even still, that being said, I think I could probably fix it. So, um, and, and I might even use this, who knows? Uh, actually, I, I will the next time I'm, I'm doing a, a fret, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm crowning some frets. I'm gonna test it out and see what I can do with it. Anyway, 
Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, um, let me know about it. Comment below Would this is something that you'd buy. Uh, if you've been in a, a luthier or somebody that uh, has been in the, the guitar world for a long time, is this the kind of kit that you'd buy? I think for the cost, you really can't beat it, uh, especially considering you're going to have to buy a lot of these things individually just to get set up. For 30 bucks, you're kind of halfway there. Uh, there's really only a couple of other things that you need. So anyway, Kenneth Russell out. I'll leave the links in the description below of where you can pick these two kits up uh, on Amazon. And uh, anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.